Hello everyone, my name is Lana and welcome to my new channel. In this channel we are going to be focusing on programming videos related to bioinformatics topics. Let's start with a series of videos covering Rosalind challenge problems. For those of you who don't know, Rosalind is a platform which offers an interactive way of learning bioinformatics and programming. In today's video we are going to learn how to count point mutations in DNA sequence using Python. So let's get started! So what exactly is a mutation in DNA sequence and how can it happen? A mutation is a change which happens during the creation or copying of DNA sequence. And most common type of mutation is a point mutation, which changes one base with another at a single nucleotide. The consequences can range from having no effects to drastful effects with regard to downstream protein product, which can lead to diseases. There are three types of point mutations. The first type of point mutation is the silent type, which has no effects on protein as its change of base will code for same amino acid as in original sequence. The second type is a nonsense type, which can result in premature termination that signals the end of translation and causes protein to be shortened. This will have an impact on protein functionality and the question is whether the protein will function at all. The third type is a missense type of point mutation, which codes for a different amino acid and can be further split into two ca categories, conservative point mutations and non-conservative point mutations. Conservative point mutations code for different amino acids, but the properties of the change amino acid are the same as in original. Most proteins can withstand one or two changes like this before their function changes. On the other hand, Non-conservative mutation results in change of amino acid with different properties than original. In this case, protein may lose its function and cause diseases in organism. Now that we understand what point mutation is, we can move to solving the Rosalind challenge problem, which states, given two strings S and T representing the DNA sequence, calculate the number of point mutations. And we can solve this problem by using a co concept called Hamming distance. And the de definition is that the Hamming distance between two strings of equal length is the number of positions at which the corresponding symbols are different. And we're going to use Python to solve this problem. So let's start coding. So what exactly is our task? We are given two strings which represent the DNA sequence and we need to calculate the number of point mutations. And we already said we are going to calculate that by using the concept called Hamming distance, meaning that we are going to count the number of positions where these two strings are not equal. So if we see in this example, we already see that at position 1, the characters of these two strings are not the same. So we already see we have one point mut mutation. And if we go position by position until the end, for this two strings, we expect that there's going to be seven point mutation. What about this example? Can we calculate the Hamming distance for this? We cannot, because we said that the Hamming distance is only defined for the strings of equal length. So we are not gonna, even going to consider this example. So let's just remove it. So we start by defining the Hamming distance function, which takes two parameters as an input. In our case, the strings S and T. So first thing we are going to do is check whether the strings are equal length or, or not. We can do that by using the inbuilt function from Python called len, which gives, gives back the length of a string. So if the length of s is not the same of length of t, we can for example print that strings are not equal sizes. And in this case we don't need to calculate anything because we cannot. Else, meaning if the strings are actually equal sizes, we can calculate the Hamming distance. We start by defining the variable calling hamdist, which will keep a track of our count. And by count, I mean the number of point mutations. As we said, we're going to loop through the both strings simultaneously and compare position by position. So if the characters at the position we are currently looking at are the same, that's fine, we just skip it because we need, don't need to increase any count. If the characters are not the same, we increase our Hamming distance by one. So let's run this implementation and check that the actually what we implemented is correct and that this function gives us back 7. 
So we see that the Hamming distance for this example is 7. So that's great. Our implementation is correct. So we just implemented a function in Python which returns the number of point mutations in two strings. Of course, there are plenty of other ways we could have approached this problem, but sometimes the simplest solution is the easiest. You could even write a one-liner for this, but I wouldn't recommend it because probably most, for most of people it would be hard to understand. So let me know in the comments below how would you approach this problem and what would your solution look like. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. See you next time. Bye!